Hey guys, so I'm here. Um, I, the last show I saw was Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, but this time around I'm reviewing Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club at Studio 54, starring movie star Emma Stone, soon to be an Academy Award nominated actress, I believe, because she was amazing in Birdman. Um, and Tony Award winner Alan Cumming for the MC in Cabaret. <laughs> um, but yeah, Cat. Oh, this is my ticket. I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys. So yeah, Cabaret is about a nightclub in Germany, Berlin, in the 1930s, where there is a master of ceremonies, aka the MC, played brilliantly by Alan Cumming, and there's also a young English performer named Sally Bowles who strikes a relationship relationship with an American writer at the brink of World War II. That's basically what the show is about. And um, my opinions on the show. This show is absolutely beautiful. The girls are beautiful. The orchestra is beautiful. And like, like from the performers to the set, to the lighting, to the lighting design, and even the choreography, it's just a, like great. The score is amazing. The score is by Fred Ebb and John Cantor. And it has a really great book that's like really funny and like serious by Joe Masteroff. Um, the show has a really good mix of everything. There's some comedy, some drama, some political drama. And it's just an extremely fun time at the theater. Um, Alan Cumming as the MC. Alan Cumming gave one of the most mentally stimulating performances I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like never gonna forget about his performance in this role. He was simply amazing. And I just loved how funny he was in Two Ladies and then how he was so chilling and I don't care much. Like I felt like if he was singing to every single audience member personally during that song. And he gave an overall amazing performance that I feel like it should have been nominated, but it wouldn't have been fair because he would have like uh -huh. Um, yeah, his performance was great. Um, yeah, Alan Cumming, he, his character was so diverse, I feel like he displayed the diversity wonderfully in this role. Um, Emma Stone as Sally Bowes. I knew Alan Cumming was going to be amazing, but Emma Stone was brilliant and she was so surprising like, she was freaking amazing. Like, her voice in this role is crazy. Crazy good. Um, Her accent and her voice completely transformed for this role. Like, if you see her in Birdman or Easy A or even Spider-Man, I don't know, like, her, she just completely changed for this character. And her the, the way she talks changed and... Yeah, she got a standing ovation at the end of Cabaret. Um, she was just amazing. If she was the original, I'm pretty sure she would have got nominated or at least won because she was great. Um, I hope she gets to like stay a little longer because she was great. Um, Linda Eamon as Fräulein Schneider. She gave an excellent performance. Her voice is like extremely powerful and her acting was really, really great. Um, in my opinion, her performance was more Tony worthy than Lena Hall's performance. That's my opinion, but they're both really great though, and Lena did deserve that Tony, but I mean I preferred Linda Eamon's performance. Um, her character broke my heart towards the end of the show. It was just oh, I was like um, Danny Burstein as her Schultz. He has a really gifted performance, and he has, like, such a diversity to all his performances that's, like, incredible. He, um, her Schultz is a very adorable Jewish fruit market owner, and he plays the parts beautifully. You could feel his emotion all the way to the back row of the Kit Kat Club. Um, he gives just the right amount of humor and sadness to the role, and it's just amazing. Um, Bill Heck as Clifford Bradshaw. Bill Heck gave a really, really good performance as the American writer. Um, 
He's an incredible actor, and it's not the biggest role, but he makes the best out of it, and I'll remember his role for a really, really long time. Um, Aaron Crone as Ernst Ludwig. Ludwig. Um, he was really, really great, and he surprised me towards the end of the first act a lot. Like, the character surprised me, and he's a really, really great actor, too. Um, Gail Rankin as, um, I think, Fraulein Cost. Yeah, as Fraulein Cost. She was great. Um, her character, she she's um, a prostitute, and she's always, like, going at it with Linda Eman's character, because she, um, is always bringing sailors into into Linda Eamon's estate because they all live there. She has a building or whatever. And they're always going at it. And then she's fine. That's how Fraulein Schneider and her Schultz end up like getting married because of that little inter those little interactions that they're having. But she was great. She was and she really surprised me towards the end of the first act too. Um I think that's it. But yeah. This show is, like, brilliantly directed, I have to say. I feel like if the lighting design and the set design wouldn't be as good as it was if these two people did not direct this show. Um, Sam Mendes and, um... Hold up. Sam Mendes and Rob Marshall. He's directing Into the Woods. Um, they directed this show beautifully, and... It's just one of those shows where the direction is, like, noticeable. And you can tell. Not noticeable in a bad way because, like, it's not like Gentleman's Guide where you can see that it's overly directed. But it's just, like, it has no flaws whatsoever, this show. And I feel it's because of them because they knew what they were doing. They understood the material. And they just made it even better than what it was back then. Um, I really, like hope to be as good as them one day because they were just amazing um these directors rob marshall's choreography is really true to the story and these girls dance like if they were on drugs and if they were like beaten up dancing for like these small amounts of um what is german money called not pounds um okay whatever Marks, marks for like a little bit of marks or whatever, and they look like if they're on coke and stuff. And yeah, I think it's because of the choreography, too. Um, the lighting design, the lighting design is beautiful for this show. I was just like at the end of Cabaret when like there's the light, and then the light starts surrounding her, and it was just amazing. The set design is really, really cool, the club design is amazing. The minute you walk into Studio 54, well, after you're going to, like, the box office, there. You're at the Kit Kat Club. Like, it's not even funny. They don't give you your playbooks to the very end so that you don't feel like if you're at a Broadway show. Um, like, you're really at, at a club in 1930 at in Berlin. Like, it's just crazy. The, the stage is, like, pretty much... A little square that they have in the orchestra and everything is pretty much done there and then they have these three doors and that's pretty much it and they have like the upper part they have like a second half of the stage and that's where the orchestra is and then they have these little things that you can like walk towards the mezzanine too um but that's pretty much the set design and the set design is beautiful um what was i gonna say this ensemble is amazing this ensemble is great. They sing. They dance. They act. And they play the music to the show. What? Like, it was, wow. Everybody, please go see Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club at Studio 54 before it closes because you will really regret it. And... If, go catch the national tour that's going out later next year, I believe, or in 2016. Because this is the show that you need to see before you die. <laughs> and I completely understand why they brought this show back and they didn't revive it again. Why they brought this production, because who wouldn't want to see Emma Stone and Alan Cumming in this show? Like, please go see Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club. 
Um, bye guys. I will be probably go seeing Sideshow again because it closed. And I really want to see like a lot of the shows that's closing, like Motown, Rock of Ages, Once. I want to see before it closed. I really want to see Honeymoon in Vegas. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, or in a few weeks. Bye guys. I'm really sorry for doing this video late too.